Hello everyone. Welcome to One More Thing. I'm Matt. Have you ever thought about how different cultures may have different understandings and values of morality? That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Today we want to take you to explore some unique moral concepts in Eastern culture. We will take you to understand seven concepts of moral kidnapping, which may open your eyes and even make you think. Are you ready? So, let's get started. Number 1, Obligations and Responsibilities. First, let's talk about the emphasis on obligations and responsibilities in Eastern culture. In Eastern societies, duties and responsibilities are seen as an integral link between the individual and society. This concept permeates every level of the family, society, and the workplace. In families, personal duties and responsibilities are often related to the care and support of family members. Children's filial piety towards their parents and taking care of their elderly family members is considered a moral obligation. This concept solidifies family cohesion and emphasizes mutual help and care among family members. Interestingly, in some Eastern cultures, filial piety is not limited to life, but even extends to respect and remembrance of ancestors. At the social level, individuals also bear obligations and responsibilities to society. This is reflected in paying attention to and safeguarding social public interests, such as complying with laws and regulations, actively participating in public welfare activities, etc. The concept of social community emphasized in Eastern culture makes personal obligations and responsibilities transcend personal interests and focuses on the prosperity and harmony of the entire society. In addition, in the workplace, Eastern culture also emphasizes individual responsibility for work responsibilities. This means that effort, integrity and responsibility at work are often seen as manifestations of ethics. In some Eastern cultures, work is viewed as a responsibility and mission, and an individual's level of commitment to work often goes beyond purely professional requirements. Let's listen to an interesting story about a man who embodied the concept of obligation and responsibility in Eastern culture. In a small village, there was an old farmer who climbed up the mountain every morning and spent several hours clearing the mountain road. It's not his job, nor his responsibility, but he firmly believes it is his obligation to the village and community. The farmer's actions not only earned him the respect of his community, but also served as an inspirational role model to others. This story demonstrates the true power of ideas of duty and responsibility in Eastern culture. This concept not only shapes personal values, but also has a positive impact on society and culture. Number 2, Face and Respect. In Eastern culture, the concept of face is a very important concept. Face can be understood as the reflection of a person's or family's honor, dignity and social status. In this cultural context, respect is also regarded as the supreme value. Respect has deep meaning in Eastern culture. It demonstrates valuing and caring for others and builds the foundation of relationships. In Eastern societies, respect is not only reflected in respect for elders, authority figures and elders, but also in respect for the opinions and wishes of others. This concept of respect makes people pay more attention to courtesy, humility and kindness in their interactions. Customs and traditions related to face and respect are very rich in Eastern culture. For example, a wedding is an important occasion where the bride and groom traditionally go through a series of rituals and etiquette to show the family's face and respect. Another example is in business interactions. Eastern culture emphasizes establishing good relationships with others, which can maintain face and respect for both parties. This may include banquets, gift exchanges and ensuring the other person's public image. Interestingly, in some Eastern cultures, people use indirect methods to protect each other's face. For example, when one person makes a mistake or commits a faux pas, others may use tactful language or methods to remind the other person to avoid public criticism or embarrassment. This approach allows people to maintain harmony while protecting each other's dignity. These concepts of face and respect provide people in Eastern cultures with a social framework that undergirds the stability and harmony of interpersonal relationships. They prompt people to be more attentive to the feelings of others and to demonstrate respect and humility in their interactions. Number 3, Filial Piety and Family Values. In Eastern culture, the concept of filial piety is regarded as a core value and moral principle. Filial piety refers to respect, care and devotion to parents and is considered a moral obligation in Eastern cultures. This concept originated from the teachings of the ancient philosopher Confucius and has been widely passed down throughout Eastern societies. Family plays an extremely important role in Eastern culture. Family is regarded as the most basic social unit for a person and an important place for emotional support, value inheritance and social connection. In Eastern societies, family relationships place greater emphasis on harmony, mutual help and responsibility. 
The bond between family members is seen as a priceless asset and supporting each other during difficult times is vital. Let us share a touching story that demonstrates the importance of the concept of filial piety. This is a story about an elderly mother and her son. The mother is old and has limited mobility, so she needs to rely on her son for care. Although his son is busy with work, he never neglects his responsibilities to his mother. Every morning, he prepares breakfast for his mother, helps her with her daily activities, and spends time chatting with her. He firmly believed that filial piety was his duty, and this act of filial piety not only made his mother feel happy and at ease, but also became a symbol of the deep affection between them. This story demonstrates the true power of the idea of filial piety in Eastern culture. It emphasizes the importance of family and personal life and encourages people to maintain harmony and stability in family relationships. This concept of filial piety exists not only between parents and children in Eastern culture, but also between brothers and sisters, grandparents and grandchildren. It creates family values of supporting each other, growing together, and sharing responsibilities. Number 4. Etiquette and Etiquette In Eastern cultures, etiquette and etiquette are seen as an integral part of social interaction, and they demonstrate respect and care for others. One of the reasons why etiquette and etiquette are valued in Eastern cultures is that they help maintain social order and harmony, while also helping to build stable interpersonal relationships. In Eastern societies, there are many common rules of etiquette and codes of conduct. For example, towards older people, people should show respect by addressing them by their correct title and bowing. In addition, when participating in banquets or gatherings, people should observe certain etiquette, such as waiting for elders or important people to start the meal first, not talking about sensitive topics, and paying attention to their speech and behavior. In business interactions, shaking hands and exchanging business cards are also common etiquette behaviors. Let's share some interesting examples of cultural differences or etiquette lapses. In Eastern cultures, dress and appearance are considered part of etiquette. In some Eastern countries, wearing clothing that is too casual or revealing may be considered inappropriate and cause embarrassment to others. Another example is gift selection and gift packaging. In some Eastern cultures, the selection of gifts must comply with the principle of reciprocity, and the packaging of gifts must be exquisite and discreet. Sometimes, cultural differences and etiquette lapses can lead to some awkward situations. For example, a foreigner in an Eastern country may not be accustomed to taking off his shoes when entering someone else's home, but in the local culture it is a common etiquette. In addition, some gestures or behaviors may have different meanings in different cultures, so in cross-cultural communication, it is crucial to understand and respect each other's etiquette and code of conduct. The value of etiquette and etiquette play an important role in Eastern culture, they help build good relationships and show respect and care. By adhering to these etiquette rules and codes of conduct, we can maintain harmony and respect in our social interactions. Number 5. Groups and Collectivism In Eastern cultures, the concept of collectivism is regarded as an important value and code of conduct. Collectivism emphasizes the integration of individual and collective interests and encourages people to be oriented toward teamwork and social responsibility. In Eastern societies, the importance of the concept of collectivism is reflected at all levels, from family to society. The concept of collectivism in Eastern cultures emphasizes the importance of teamwork and joint efforts. This idea means that individual success and happiness are tied to the prosperity of the entire group. In Eastern societies, individuals are generally expected to contribute to the collective and are willing to sacrifice personal interests to pursue the interests of the whole. This value consolidates social cohesion and promotes harmonious development. For example, many Eastern countries value teamwork, especially in the workplace. In a team, individuals are encouraged to cooperate with each other and work together to achieve a common goal. This collectivist perspective makes teams more efficient and effective and emphasizes the value of shared success and responsibility. Let's share a story or example of a successful collectivism. It's about a community in an eastern country facing environmental problems and resource shortages. Residents realized they needed to work together to address these issues, so they formed a community work team. Residents in this group work together to clean up trash, save energy, and conduct environmental education activities. Their efforts not only improved the environment of the community, but also inspired other community members to pay attention to environmental protection. This story demonstrates the power of collectivist ideas and how individual contributions can bring positive change to society as a whole. The concept of collectivism is of great value in Eastern cultures, which emphasizes the relationship between the individual and the collective and encourages people to be oriented toward teamwork and social responsibility. Through the practice of collectivism, we can build a more harmonious, stable and prosperous society. 
Number 6. Be cautious and humble. Moderator, in Eastern culture, prudence and modesty are regarded as important values. The reasons behind these beliefs can be traced to the pursuit of respect for others and harmonious interpersonal relationships. Prudence and humility not only reflect care for others, but also help maintain social harmony. The concepts of discretion and modesty in Eastern cultures stem from caution in words and actions. Being cautious means choosing your words and expressions carefully to avoid offending or causing misunderstanding. This reflects respect and concern for the feelings of others. Humility reflects respect for others and humility towards oneself. The concept of modesty teaches people not to boast and show off, but to be humble about their achievements and abilities. In Eastern cultures, the concepts of discretion and modesty are reflected in many codes of conduct. For example, people are taught to be cautious and modest in public and to avoid overemphasis on their strengths or successes. In addition, when communicating with others, people are encouraged to listen to and respect each other's opinions and avoid being too subjective or forceful. Let's share some interesting stories or rules of conduct related to prudence and humility. In some Eastern countries, there is a traditional story about a humble scholar. The scholar was asked about his achievements in a conversation, but he responded cautiously and humbly that he had only learned under the guidance of many seniors and that he still had a lot to learn. This story emphasizes the value of humility and teaches people not to boast or overemphasize their achievements. Concepts of discretion and modesty have profound effects on relationships and social interactions. They help build trust and harmonious relationships and reduce conflicts and misunderstandings. When people use discretion and humility, they are better able to listen and understand others, and are better able to handle conflicts and challenges. This concept also helps maintain social stability and harmonious development. In concluding the above discussion, the concepts of prudence and modesty play an important role in Eastern culture. They demonstrate respect and care for others and contribute to good relationships and social interactions. Through the practice of careful speech and humility, we can promote communication and understanding and build more harmonious social relationships. Number 7. Respect for the elderly and family values. In Eastern cultures, respect for the elderly and family values are regarded as extremely important values. These concepts embody respect for elders and emphasis on family and play an important role in Eastern societies. The concept of respecting the elderly is deeply rooted in Eastern culture and reflects respect and filial piety for elders. In Eastern societies, elders are seen as symbols of wisdom and experience, and their opinions and guidance are respected and valued. The concept of respect for the elderly teaches people to show respect for their elders, including being careful with their words and actions, and to provide help and care when needed. The concept of family also plays an important role in Eastern culture. The family is considered the basic unit of society and is considered an important source of personal growth and happiness. Eastern societies value family cohesion and mutual support, and relationships between family members are seen as solid and important. Family values teach people to care about the well-being of their family members and to support each other in times of difficulty. Let us share an interesting story related to the concept of respecting the elderly and family. In some Eastern country, there was a young man living with his grandfather. The young man had great respect and filial piety for his grandfather, often seeking his advice and guidance. He also enjoyed spending time with his grandfather, listening to his stories and wisdom. This story demonstrates the power of respect for the elderly and the concept of family, as well as the importance of family relationships to personal growth and happiness. Respect for the elderly and the concept of family have a profound impact on interpersonal relationships and social interactions. They help build strong family relationships and promote mutual respect and support among family members. At the same time, these concepts also cultivate care for elders and families at the social level, forming a social network of care and mutual assistance. To summarize the above discussion, the concept of respect for the elderly and family plays an important role in Eastern culture. They embody respect for elders and emphasis on family and have a profound impact on personal and social relationships. By practicing respect for the elderly and family values, we can build strong family relationships and promote harmonious social development. In this discussion, we explore the importance and influence of seven moral kidnapping concepts in Eastern cultures. These concepts include respecting elders, valuing family, being cautious and modest in speech, respecting others, working hard, and pursuing harmony and equality. These concepts not only enrich our lives, but also promote cross-cultural exchanges. Viewers are encouraged to gain a deeper understanding of the differences and similarities between cultures. This understanding helps broaden our horizons and enhances understanding and respect for each other. Through cross-cultural communication, 
we can learn and draw on the values of different cultures, thereby enriching our lives and improving our relationships. Let us work together to respect different cultural concepts and practice these concepts in our daily lives. This will bring about a more harmonious social environment and colorful interpersonal relationships. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Please also share your thoughts and opinions in the comment area, we look forward to interacting with you. Thank you again for your support, see you next time.